ग्रीटिंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट इस डू दी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दी टेक्स्ट बुक्स ठीक है नाउ अंडरस्टैंडिंग दी टेक्स्ट गिव रीजंस फॉर दी फॉलोइंग ठीक है किंग टूट्स बॉडी हैज बीन सब्जेक्टेड टू रिपीटेड स्क्रूटनी राइट सो वी हैव टू गिव एन दिस इज दी स्टेटमेंट एंड वी हैव टू गिव दी रीजन द मम्मी ऑफ किंग टूट खामोन हैज अर्न वर्ल्ड वाइड फेम फॉर द रिच चीज इट वॉज बरीड विद There is also uh, speculation about the manner of his death and his age at the time of death. Hence, King Tut's body have been subjected to repeated scrutiny. So, वो repeated scrutiny का क्या वजह है? एक तो riches और एक कैसे वो मरे और कितने कम उम्र में वो मरे थे. Howard Carter's investigation was resented. ठीक है. Now Howard Carter's uh, investigation was resented because he used unscientific methods and illegitimated ways. जैसे कि उन्होंने चेज़ल यूज़ किया था, right? So that was uh, unscientific method or illegitimate ways. He was focusing more on treasure and less on cultural and historical aspects, where he had to focus more on cultural and historical aspects. Now the third statement is Carter had a chisel away the solidified reasons to raise King's remain. That means solidified, जो कि hard हो गया था, bandage hard हो गए थे किस चीज से? Reasons gum से. Carter found that the ritual reasons had hardened. The result was that Tut's body had been cemented to the bottom of the solid gold coffin. Proper forces could not move the reasons. Even the scorching sun failed to loosen the reasons. So he got the reasons chiseled away to raise uh, to raise the king's remains. So what did Carter do? कि उनके बॉडी को चेजल करा बहुत धूप 149 डिग्री फ़ारेनाइट में हमने पढ़ा था कि उसको धूप में भी रखा गया बट वो रीज़न वो गम गला नहीं राइट तो उसको क्या कर दिया काटर ने चेजल कर दिया टुट बॉडी वाज बरीड अलोंग विद ग्लाइडेड ट्रेजर ठीक है तो पीपल ऑफ एशियन इजिप्ट बिलीव इन री सरक्शन ऑफ दी डेथ री सरक्शन ऑफ डेथ मीन्स डेथ आफ्टर लाइफ so the kings were extremely rich so tut's body was buried with glided mm, sorry gilded uh, gilded uh, treasures their eternal brilliance was meant to guarantee uh, guarantee resurrection things of everyday use were also buried with the king now next the boy king changed his name to tutkhatim or tutkhamun right the tut khamun means meaning a uh, living image of amun amun he was the god of the sun where we talk about amun it is the god of the sun right or air so he um, uh, he was a major god in ancient egypt king um, amenhotep the 4th changed his name to okhenaten okhenaten smashed the images of amun and Uh, and got its temple close tut oversaw a restoration of the old ways he changed his name to uh, express his belief in amun jo iske father the amen hotten hotep unhone kya kara wo 18 ko wo karte the praise karte the maine bataya tha na ab 18 kaun tha 18 was the god of the sun disk right jo disk hoti hai sun ki that disk ठीक है तो उन्होंने सारा के सारे जो दूसरे आमुन के इमेजेस हैं उनको क्या कर दिया था चिल्ड्रन डिस्ट्रॉय कर दिया था राइट सो दीज थिंग्स हैपन राइट नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लिस्ट लिस्ट द डीड्स दैट लेड रे जॉनसन टू डिस्क्राइब आकिन एटन एज वैकी ठीक है क्या क्या चीज़ें थी नाउ आकिन एटन मीन्स द सर्वेंट ऑफ द आर्टन द सन ऑफ डिस्क Okay, he moved the religious capital from the old city of Thebes to the new city of Akhenaten, known as the um, uh, Amarna. ठीक है, he smashed the images of Amun, a major god, and closed his temple. These deed, deeds led Ray Johnson to de- describe Akhenaten as wacky. Right? What were the result of the city scan? Next question. 
The result of the CT scans were quite encouraging. 1700 digital X-ray images in cross sections were created. A grey headed appeared on the screen. Grey. Spelling is wrong here. We have to write G R E Y grey. Right headed was um, appeared on the screen. Neck vertebrate were quite clear. The image of hand, rib cage, and skull were equally bright. This revealed that nothing had gone seriously wrong with Tut's body. Right? List the advances in technology that has improved forensic analysis. The advances in technology that helped in improving forensic analysis. Many scientific tests can be carried out to determine the cause of crime. These include X-ray, ultrasound, CT scan, post-mortem, autopsy and biopsy. Biopsy. All these help in diagnosis and provide exact information. Okay? Explain the statement. King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned in the in death as in life. Now this we are King Tut's mummy was the first one to be expressed ex x-rayed by an anatomy professor in 1968. On 5th January 2005, City Scan created virtual reality and produced lifelike images. King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned. Thus, in death as well as in life, Tut moved legally ahead of his countrymen. Now, talking about the text. Discuss the following in groups of twos, each pair in a group uh, talking opposite points of the view. Okay, each pair in the group taking opposite points of the view okay now we have scientific interve intervention is necessary to earn earth earn earth, uh, unearth buried mysteries okay so we need scientific methods now students are expected to debate on issues raised in the text related to rediscovering history with the help of technology respect of tradition etc while answering these questions students are required to reflect on the issues and give their points of view now for the motion is ke uh, motion me okay ye correct hai. every nation glorify its past history culture and civilization however certain mysteries lie buried with them rituals and legends are insufficient to clear the wrap of mystery surrounding them for example take the case of tutankhamun's mummy uh, he was laid to rest with gold more than 33 years ago. Since the discovery of his tomb in 1922 AD, the modern world has speculated about him. Some people believe that the boy mm, king might have been murdered. There is a mystery uh, around his life as well around his death. Hence, if we want to study archaeological properly, we must take the help of scientific techniques. Now, iske again, that scientific invention uh, is necessary to unearth buried mysteries. Now, if if present is perfect and future certain, why uh, many about uh, the past? Let dead past bury its dead and the mysteries surrounding them. In the present world full of competition, we must devote our money, time and energy to build up our resources and sustain the uh, lifestyle scientific techniques should be employed to feed the hungry millions and uh, clad the naked ones some mysteries of the past have lost their relevance with the passage of time won't it be futile and wastage of precious resources for the developing nation in this idle pursuit let the thinkers philosophers and priests worry about mysteries not the scientist now, the second is advanced technology give us conclusive evidence of past events. Now, this is for the motion. I fully dis uh, subs uh, subscribe to the observation that advanced technology give us conclusion evidence of past events. Even my opponents will agree that there is no proper written record about many past events. Myths and legends surround even the most celebrated personality and events of their life or circumstances of death. Facts and fictions are mingled together and sometimes have become inseparable. So various persons have given colored vision of the past events to suit the demand of their masters 
or to serve their own needs this uh, the evidence that oppose their views um, that been condemned and rejected thus sometimes we get a rapt version and subjected account of the past events um, only advanced technology can help us to understand the past in right perspective now against the mo motion i discover uh, i disagree with the remark that advanced technology give us conclusive evidence of the past it may hold good in certain cases where evidence can be reconstructed and examined closely with the sophisticated techniques of modern science available now however it is um, it will be unfair to generalize and hold it true in all the cases sometimes the process of available data may yield contradictory accounts and create more confusion that unrevealing um, the not issues moreover the available av evidence may not be worthy of analysis and ex examination now the test may determine the possible time period of the action but it is quite difficult to access the cause uh, that prompt it or the uh, results that followed now tradition rituals and funerary practice must be respected theek hai to iske motion mein कि ये करेक्ट है कि हमारे जो ट्रेडिशन है रिचुअल्स और फ्यूनरल्स हैं हमें क्या करना चाहिए चिल्ड्रन उनको रिस्पेक्ट करनी चाहिए राइट नाउ डिफरेंट रिलीजन कल्चर्स एंड सिविलाइजेशन फॉलो वेरियस ट्रेडिशन रिचुअल्स एंड फ्यूनरी प्रैक्टिसेस द डेड बॉडी बरीड अंडर द अर्थ आर सपोज टू लाई इन रेस्ट पीसफुल टिल द डूम्स डे फॉर द डे ऑफ रिसरक्शन और आफ्टर लाइफ resurrection or after life the earth the ancient egyptians had mastered the art of uh, mummifying certain tradition rituals were performed while uh, treating the dead body with special oils and wrapping in cloth ritual raise, um, rituals um, reasons raisins held the mummy close to the bottom of the coffin the burial chamber and grave contained all the important things that the king might need in after life the funeral practices have a certain uh, scanty for the followers of the practical religion we must learn to be more tolerant of the belief of others hence i conclude that tradition rituals and funerary practice must be respected now against the motion we have the world is on the move we have to be forward looking we can't remain content with the achievement of the past or rest uh, on our laurels if tradition rituals and certain funerary practice block the flow of information and knowledge these may be overloaded for the great benefit of humanity clearing the air of mystery ignorance and superstitions surrounding some of the old age beliefs however in our quest for knowledge we should be we should not be intolerant or disrespectful we must conduct or probe objectively and dispassionately facts must be given more weightage than the beliefs attached to them a detached outlook may provide clear understanding of the past even now knowledge about past life is useful to complete a knowledge of the world we live in for the motion of modern world right this is not modern it's modern world has expanded where here we are talking about here this is modern world has expanded the frontiers uh, knowledge in fact the whole world has become a global village within a few seconds we become aware of incidents happening thousands of miles away information technology has indeed brought a revolution in the fields of knowledge still our knowledge of the world is incomplete without knowledge about past lives we are direct descendants of our ancestors and we must be aware of the circumstance in which they existed and how they um, coped coped with them the structure of future is rooted in the past we draw lessons from the past and make improvement the five of the people of the past are like beacon fights to guide and inspire us and enlighten us about the world we uh, file in against the motion we are constantly learning new things about the world we live in the knowledge of our present circumstances and future perspectives is more important than the knowledge about our past lives 
their tradition rituals tools ways of conduct and ethos are not going to help us to struggle for our existence in the highly competitive and complex modern world the knowledge about past lives can be at best make us uh, retrograde instead of being progressive uh, for many of us the world means the sphere of activities and environment they uh, five in people aim at specializing in a restrictive field instead of being jack of all the trades as such the knowledge of the world we need is also restricted to our requirement and we need not bother about knowledge about past events now think about the language read the following piece of information from the encyclopedia of language by david crystal egyptian is now extant its history dates from before the 3rd millennium bc preserved in many hieroglyphic um, inscriptions and papyrus manuscripts around the 2nd century ad it developed into a language um, known as Co copic now coptic um, may still have been used as late as the early 19th century and is still as religious language for uh, monophysite uh, christian in egypt what do you think are the reason for the extent of the language a language becomes extinct when its use is restricted to certain classes or categories of people secondly the harshness of rules and la lack of flexibility in usage also contribute to the extinct of languages right do you think it is important to preserve language i think it is important to preserve language various languages are the vehicles of the thought and medium of interaction between the users of the language and the outside world the language has intimate connection with the lives culture and civilization of people and reflects their thinking in what ways do you think we could help to prevent the um, extinction of language and dialects certain step must be taken to help the uh, to prevent the extension of um, language and dialects the most important is to encourage its use a language thrives as long as it is used by masses um, measures should be taken to propagate the language and dialects used in certain ways the help of uh, uh, interpreters interpreters may be provided for interaction between native users of language dialect and non users certain incentives uh, in the form of stipends scholarship preference in jobs may also prove handy in interacting the youth towards language and dialect um, which are on the verge of extinct state um, patronage can also help in the preservation of language now working with words theek hai given below are some interesting combination of words explain why they have been used ghostly dust devils see in each combination of words one word is an adjective and it modifies as well as reinforces the meaning of noun following preceding it let us try to understand the meaning ghostly dust evils mean ghostly like wicked evil spirit formed by the dust dark belly clouds bulging or swelling clouds deserted sky the sky over the desert cascade gray the gray sky hiding the stars in it stunning artifacts extremely attractive man made objects if external brilliance over lasting shine then we have funeral treasures that is treasures stored uh, following rituals of funerary ritual raisins that is raisins uh, applied according to ritual rites scientific detachment aloofness of the scientist virtual body body made to appear to exist by computer software now here are some commonly uh, used medical terms find out the meaning ct scan computed tomography and what does it mean a medical test in which a machine uh, produces a three dimensional picture of the inside of the uh, person's body of a computer screen after taking x rays mri an abbreviation for magnetic raising imaging a technique for producing images of body organ for measuring and properties of atomic nuclei in in a strong magnetic field tomography a technique for displaying a cross section through a human body or other solid ob uh, objects using x rays or ultrasound autopsy an examination of dead body to discover the cause of death or extent of disease 
dialysis uh, a technique of clinical purification of blood as a substitute for the normal function of the kid kidney ecg is the abbreviation for electrocardiogram uh, or electrocardiograph preparing a graph showing the measurement and uh, recording the activity in the heart using electrodes placed on the skin post mortem medical examination of the body of a dead person in order to find out how he died um, angiography is um, radiography of um, blood or lymph vessels carried out after introduction of substance that is opaque to x-ray biopsy and examination of tissue taken from the body to discover the presence cause uh, or extent of disease now notice these expression in the text gets the meaning for forensic reconstruction activity of building again something damage or to help scientific test to solve a crime next we have scudded across moving quickly across something cascade gray a small gray box or gray sky seduction a new beginning of something which is old funerary treasure collection of valuable things uh, used as a funeral circumvented found a way of avoiding a difficulty or a rule eerie details strange and frightening little bits of facts now things to do the constellation orion is associated with the legend Os osiris the god of afterlife find out the astronomic uh, description and legends associated with the following now ursa major that is saptarishi mandal the bright constellation can be observed all year long as it never sinks below the horizon it is also known as greater bear as it represents black and a tail of a bear according to sanskrit mythology this group of seven sages saptarishi also moves around the constant star dhruv tara known as polaris now Polar polaris or dhruv tara the star remains constant and always point to the north the direction of arsa a major keeps changing with the passage of night but polaris remain unchanged it is associated with legend of dhruv the uh, six year old boy who was blessed by lord vishnu with the permanent constant abode of universe now pegasus that is winged horse this is associated with greek mythology as the winged horse sprung from medusa's blood it uh, carries lightning bolts from zeus uh, pegasus uh, constellation may, may be seen uh, even stars are out uh, sirius that is dog star it is associated with uh, legend of orion it is called the dog star as it re represents Orion's large hunting dog the first glimpse of uh, Sirius is dawn announced the rising of the Nile in the ancient Egypt Gemini Mithuna um, a combination of two nakshatra Ardhara and Punarvasu and having a contradictory quality some of the le uh, leaves and flowers mentioned in the passage for adorning the death are willow olive celery celery lotus cornflower Uh, which of the common are in our country that is um, the common in our country are willow olive lotus and cornflower are common in our country name some leaves and flowers that used um, as adornments in our country roses lotus martials um, marigolds champa and chameli flowers and the leaves of mango people ban uh, banana and basil are used for as adornments in our country okay now children we have some short type questions why is 5th january 2005 significant in tutankhamun's saga on this date of the first time tutankhamun was removed from his tomb and taken to a city scanner brought there to probe the lingering mystery around the young ruler how was the atmosphere when tut's body was taken for the city sca uh, scan violent wind raised ghost like shapes of dust bulging clouds moving moved quickly across the desert sky and hid the stars in the gray sky how did the visitors of tut's grave pay their respects to him they gazed at the murals on the walls and peered at tut's glided face on his mummy shaped outer coffin lid some his his visitors read from the guide book in whispers others stood silently 
what according to a r williams were the thoughts of the visitor who stood silently near tooth's grave perhaps some of them were thinking deeply over tooth's untimely death in his teens others might be trembling with fear and wondering if the pharaoh's curse was really true what was pharaoh's curse who refers to it and in what context the pharaoh's curse was that the debt of misfortune would fall upon those who disturbed him the silent with his visitors are the first to refer to it later on a guard joked nervously when the million dollar scanner stopped functioning because of sand in a cooler fan the mummy is in a very bad condition because of carter's did it in 1920 who was carter how did he do what he what did he do with the mummy howard carter was a british archaeologist and he discovered tooth's tomb in 1922 after many years of futile searching Carter's men removed the mummy's head and cut off almost every major joint to remove the golden adornments. What probe did Carter face when he reached the mummy? What did he find a way out? Carter found that the ritual raisins had become quite hard. These had fixed tut on the bottom of the solid gold coffin. The heat of the sun could not melt it, so the solid raisin had to be chiseled away to free the king's remains from the box. How did Carter defend his uh, action of cutting the mummies free? Carter said that if he hadn't cut the mummy free, thieves would have certainly have found a way of avoiding the guards. Then they would uh, take the tomb apart, um, sorry, torn apart everything forcibly and remove the gold. And now here we have torn, T O R N, torn apart. List some of the adornments and golden objects on Tut's body: precious collars, inlaid necklace and bracelets, rings, amulets, a ceremonial apron, candles, sheets or fing for fingers and toes, and the inner coffin and mask. All of them had made pure gold. His coffin was of solid gold. Uh, do you think the royal carried so much gold to grave? There are two reasons. First, the royals were extremely wealthy. Secondly, they thought or hoped that they could not take their riches with them for the great, uh, great beyond. What is so special about contents of Tut uh, Tut's tomb? Stunning artifacts in gold found in Tut's tomb remain the richest royal collection ever found. They caused a uh, sensation at the time of discovery. Even now, they get the most attention. which evidence prove that the burial of tut is in march uh, t- um, or april tilts uh, shroud was found adorned with a faded garland of willow okay and this is tut this is not tilts this is tut okay now was adorned with faded garland of willows and olive leaves wild cereal lotus petals and cornflowers since some of them are available only at the end of the winter season tut uh, must have been buried in march and april why did carter men treat tut's body while removing gold they removed the uh, mummy's head and cut off every joint to remove the good adornment then they they reassembled the remains on the layer of sand in a wooden box and filed it with soft material to hide the damage caused by chisel what startling fact came to light in 1968 through x-ray uh, in 1968 an anatomy professor x-rayed the mummy he revealed a startling fact to its breast bone and front ribs were missing beneath the raisins that cover his chest with thick layer how was city scan prove more effective than x-ray the city scan hundreds of x-rays in cross sections are put together like slices of bread to create three dimensional virtual body x-ray provides only two dimensional image uh, which two questions still linger about to two questions which still linger uh, remain unanswered the first is how did to die and the second is how old was he when at the time of death how was archaeology how has archaeology undergone change in the 20th century the change is in two ways approach and technology now archaeology focuses less on treasure and more on fast, um, fascinating details of life and interesting mysteries of death secondly it uses more sophisticated tools including medical technologies next it how was tut's body carried out to the city scanner 
वर्कमैन कैट कैरी टुट फ्रॉम दी टूम इन हिज वुडन बॉक्स दे क्लाइम द रैम्प एंड फ्लाइट एंड स्टेज इन दी सैंड आउटसाइड देन दे रोज टू एन हाइड्रोलिक लिफ्ट एंड वेंट इन टू द ट्रेलर दैट हेल दी स्कैनर वट स्नैग डिड द मिलियन डॉलर स्कैनर डेवलप वट वॉज इट सेट राइट द मिलियन डॉलर स्कैनर हैज स्टॉप्ड फंक्शनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ सैंड इन अ कूलर फैन टू मैन रैन टू एन ऑफिस नियर बाय एंड ब्रॉड अ पेयर ऑफ वाइट प्लास्टिक फैंस दी सब्सिट्यूट फैन वर्क वेल इन अ फॉर अ स्कैनर टू वर्क हाउ डू यू थिंक जाई हव स्माइल्ड एंड फेल्ट रिलीव क्लियर इमेजेस ऑफ सिटी स्कैन रिवील दैट द हेड नेक वर्टिब्रेट एंड रिपक्रेज वर इन अ प्रॉपर ऑर्डर जाई हव स्माइल्ड एंड फेल्ट रिलीव दैट नथिंग हैड बीन गॉन सीरियसली रॉन्ग एविडेंट द कर्स ऑफ द फैरो हैड नॉट बीन हिंडर्ड द वर्क ऑफ टेक्नीशियंस हाउ वॉज द atmosphere when the city scan of tut was over it was nearly midnight the wind that blew in the evening had now stopped the dust storm and clouds had cleared off the winter air lay cold and still just above the entrance of tut stone stood orion the soul of osiris the god of after life now we've completed till here okay thank you children